Everything that rocks the River City, 103 GBF, uh, STP, an interstate love song. And we're talking about we're talking about love, kind of, sort of, this morning, aren't we, Candace? We are, we are. Yeah, uh, I'm joined in the studio by Candace Perry from, uh, from Albion Fellows Bacon Center. And uh, you've kind of been... Um, You've been kind of a prominent feature on our websites and our YouTube channels here lately with our with our No More campaign. Yeah, I'm so excited that that you are a part of that. Thank you so much for doing it. Oh, it's it's our pleasure. You know, we uh, we love doing things that um, that benefit the community, and uh, we try to do a little bit of good with with the platforms that we have more than just playing great music and doing fun contests and stuff. We also try to do stuff that. That kind of really matters, quote unquote, really matters. You know right. what I mean? So you did um, a good job. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, and thank you for coming in today. So let's let's talk about the No More campaign. In, in case folks aren't familiar with it, it kind of started with the NFL uh, and their movement after the, the the crazy situations they've had over the past season, and we kind of piggybacked on that, and, and we're doing our own local No right. More campaign. But what does that really mean when when you see No More or you hear No More? Right. The No More campaign is a national campaign mm-hmm. with with the intent of of just bringing the conversation forward, elevating that that dialogue. And the No More campaign has been around for several years, but during the the, the events, the recent events that the NFL mm-hmm. w- were um, spotlighting as well, they were spotlighting the fact that we it is time to say no more. Let's talk about this. We can't have people suffering in silence. We can't have we can't have people perpetrating. We yeah. can't we just can't have that in our community communities. And so with that national elevation on a local level, we wanted to parallel that. We wanted that message to be spread and shared in our own community. Well, that's kind of a, you know, going back to what you said at the beginning of your statement, it's kind of a sad statement to me is, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize that this has been going on for years and years and years. I, I just, the first I kind of noticed it or saw about it was with the NFL. And I thought, well, they started this. Right. That's a sad statement to me that that the word wasn't out before then. And it took it took the events of this past NFL season to kind of make it a national yeah. conversation. Um, so I, I'm glad to hear that's been going on. I'm glad to know now that, that I know more about it and that we're a part of it. And, and so uh, we've teamed up, obviously, with you and, and the Albion, Albion Fellows Bacon Center and the, the Evansville Police and the Vandenberg Sheriff's Department. But talk about the, the, the Albion's Fellow Bacon Center for those who may not know what it is and and what it what you what you do for folks. Yeah, Albion is a domestic violence and sexual assault agency and our mission is to prevent domestic and sexual violence and to empower victims through advocacy, education, support services and collaborative partnerships. How can people take advantage of your services if they're if they witness it, if they're a, a victim themselves, what do they need to do to to take advantage of your services at the at the Bacon Center? Yeah, very easy to plug in. We have two 24-hour crisis lines. I would encourage people to to call us. Just reach out. Give us a call at 812-422-5622. We also have a website where an individual could not only look over the services that we provide, but look for volunteer opportunities. Mm-hmm, if they sure. are interested in plugging in or supporting, they can go to www.albionfellowsbacon.org. And what are some of the services that you offer there, if you could get kind of specific? Right. We're probably best known as a domestic violence shelter. Mm -hmm. So we do provide shelter to to victims and their children. Um, That stay is for up to 45 days. Wow. So it is short term, but from the moment they come in, we're partnering with them so that we can really um, steer them and and determine what their short-term, long-term goals are and to figure out what their next steps are going to be to be violence-free. We have services for children as well. So it's not just the adult, but we have a child advocate working with the kids on age appropriate levels. What the community probably knows less about is that we are the only rape crisis center in the immediate area. So we are providing the full spectrum sure. of, of sexual assault services. If a, if a person goes to the emergency room right after an assault, that emergency room nurse can contact our agency and an advocate will go out and wow. be with that person and provide services and options. So that crisis response is very unique to mm-hmm. our agency. And again, we're the only agency in the area that provides a 24-hour crisis response for both domestic violence and sexual assault. We're talking with Candace Perry from Albion's Fellows, Albion Fellows Bacon Center, and uh, and you've got some amazing people that work with you there, uh, including some former victims. We actually have a, 
uh, one of the videos with our no more kind of our no more series uh, up at our YouTube channel and our websites is of a former victim who now works with Albion Fellows Bacon Center. Right, right, and she's a a, a powerful survivor. Mm-hmm. She really has a fantastic story. Her journey has been just very unique to her, and and she is a success. She can she can look at a, a client and say, "You can do this because I've been there she knows. and I did it." Yeah, yeah. You, you're you're dealing with folks that have been where where you are or where you may be heading and they they certainly yeah. know what they're talking about yeah. uh so uh, again the numbers for folks that want to reach out to albion fellows bacon center what's yeah. the phone number again 812-422-5622 and the website is www.albionfellowsbacon.org and if uh, if you can't remember those you can always go to our youtube channel which is uh, youtube.com slash 103 gbf rocks or even to our website 103 gbf rocks.com that's where you'll see uh, a handful of no more videos with even more of those videos to come so again mm-hmm. thanks for your partnership with us mm-hmm. and, and hopefully we can continue to get the word out. Thank you so much.